Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Brown from the Attleboro Public Library. Today I am bringing you another craft. It is for dragon feet. Now when I first started making this craft, all I could think of was it was dragon feet because I was thinking of dragons. But I realized after I made one, you can also call it monster feet. I think it's all in the way that you decorate it. We have the craft bags ready if you want to pick one up and reserve it. You might already have these materials at home, but if you want to reserve some free materials, then you can call us at 508-222-7820, or you can email me at attaboroughkids at salesinc.org. When you reserve materials, we'll also set up a curbside pickup time. And in your bag, you will find a piece of white foam. You'll find two pieces of a colored foam. Uh, actually, you'll find four pieces of a colored foam. And that way you can make two sets of feet. So you'll find two pieces in one color and two pieces in another color. And you'll find the instruction sheet. That's what's in your bag this week. It doesn't take many materials. When you are at home, you need to supply some white glue, some scissors, a pencil, maybe something to decorate, and something round to trace. I'm gonna use my water bottle. Right. So, as I said, you have four different sheets, two of one color and two of another color. I am going to use my red today. Now, when you think of dragon or monster feet, you think of something kind of big and round and clunky. So what you could do with your pencil is you could draw it out. I'm just gonna make kind of a U shape and then maybe three toes at the top. You don't have to make it perfect because you're going to be cutting it out anyway. You're going to start cutting. Now I, gave, I will show you the one that I did but you know what? Maybe you don't want roundish feet. Maybe you want big triangle feet for your dragon or for your monster, and that's fine. The great thing about these crafts are really, you can decorate them and you can make them any way you want. I certainly give you some supplies and I give you an instruction sheet, but if you wanna change it up a bit, that's fine, you should, it's your craft. All right, so I have cut out my foot here, just a basic shape. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my round whatever. You could use a cup, a bowl. As I said, I'm using my uh, water bottle. You're going to put it near the bottom of your foot and just trace a circle. Now, the reason we are doing this is so that you can put your foot into the, the circle. I'm gonna make a cut here at the bottom, just a straight cut up to my circle. And then I'm going to cut my circle out. The reason you, it could be whatever size fits you best. All right, so picture, picture my arm as my leg and my hand as my foot. When we are all done, you are gonna be able to put your monster feet or your dragon feet right over your shoes or your bare feet. That's why we cut the circle and that's why you want the, the cut at the bottom so it's easier to slip onto your leg and your ankle. All right, so really I, I could be done at this point. Maybe this is what I want my monster feet to look like. I would like to add some crazy monster toenails, some I think dragons or monsters, I think they have big, sharp, pointy toenails. Maybe you think they have round toenails. That's fine. So I am just gonna cut out some triangles because I want sharp toenails for my dragon foot. We're going to glue them onto our toes. And the reason I suggest white glue instead of a glue stick is because the foam is a little bit heavier than regular paper. And I just think white glue works better with heavier materials than uh, glue sticks do. You might also have some double-sided tape. I think that would work. I didn't try double-sided tape, but I think that would work. I don't see why it wouldn't. And now I'm just gonna glue my crazy pointed toenails onto my dragon foot. 
And that's it. Just like that, I have made a dragon foot, a monster foot, uh, an ogre foot, a beast foot, whatever you'd like to call it, however you'd like to design it. I made my other one. You can see that I drew some dragon scales on it. So that's why I said some things to decorate. I just used a black marker on mine, but you know, if you wanted to, you could use some glitter if your adult lets you use glitter at home. Sometimes not so much, but you could use other colored markers. You could use paint, you could use stickers, however you'd like to decorate it. I decorated mine with scales, with dragon scales, okay? So here we go. Now I have a pair of dragon feet. I can put them on my shoes. I can put them right over, like I said, and I can dance around the house in my dragon feet. I can stomp around the house too. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this craft today. Again, if you would like to pick up some free materials, then just contact me at 508-222-7820, or you can email me at attaborokids at salesinc.org, and you can request a free kit of materials. You might have these at home. I always include the instruction sheet in my bags that I give out, but you can also find the instruction sheet on our website. Thank you very much for joining me. I will be on Wednesday on Facebook Live. I will definitely be reading some dragon stories this week, so I hope you can join me Wednesday at 3 o'clock on our Facebook page. I will see you next week. Thank you for crafting with me. Bye-bye.